welcome to the vegan angel blog i am caitlin angel and today i'm going to be talking about how to save money grocery shopping while following a vegan diet now i know that everyone budgets a little differently so this can be adjusted based on your budget your monthly income anything like that my first piece of advice is to have a budget Having a budget makes it so much easier to see how much money you have to spend on each bill you have every month and how much money you have to spend on groceries each month. My personal recommendation when making a budget is to make a list of everything you have to pay for and then add that all up and subtract it from your monthly income and then take that number and put that towards groceries, your date nights, anything like that. When you find out how much money you have to spend on groceries each month, then make a grocery list. Next to the items on your list, write down the price so you know exactly how much to bring with you to the grocery store. By pricing all of your items, that makes it so you know how much money to bring into the grocery store with you, and maybe an extra 5 to $10 more in case you forget something. By only having the amount of money that you need when you go to the grocery store, you are less likely to purchase something else or something that you don't need. Another thing is, is if you're going grocery shopping and you want to stop at your favorite store just to look around, don't bring your money in if you haven't budgeted for that this week. Maybe if you see something in there that you want, pick it out and then start saving up for that item and put the savings in your monthly budget. That way you're not spending extra money on things that you have not budgeted for that month so you're not short on your bills on the end of the month. My second piece of advice is to buy products that are on clearance or products that are marked down. By shopping clearance items, you can save a boatload of money. I personally do this if I see something that I want at the grocery store that's on my list, but I look over and I see something else that is cheaper or is on clearance that is an easy alternative for that product, then I will buy the cheaper item instead. Often foods that are in season are usually on clearance. I know that personally, if I go to the store in the winter and I want berries, they're gonna be marked up while winter squash will be marked down. And another piece of advice is to buy more squash, root vegetables, and things like that. Those things are usually decently cheap and to me they are filling and nutritious and they store a long time in my pantry. Which this brings me to my third tip, Always know what's in your refrigerator or your pantry. This way you're not forgetting about something in the back of your fridge or throwing something away because you bought extra of it and it went bad. Food waste is a big problem in the world right now and I am actually going to be doing a video of that next if you would subscribe to my channel. That way you can be notified when that is posted. I would very much appreciate that. My fourth tip is to buy products in bulk whenever you have the chance. There has been times when I have gone to the grocery store and bought products in bulk and I'm getting twice the amount of an item when if I would purchase it in a smaller container or a smaller amount, it would be more expensive than to just purchase in bulk. By doing this, you can bring your own containers as well instead of buying plastic containers. And this way you can limit your waste every month and just remember to weigh your container before you put the product in so that they can get the proper measurement of the amount of bulk product that you bought. Some things that I buy in bulk are lentils, dry beans, nuts, gluten-free flour, and other products. I buy most of my spices in bulk and a lot of other things. And my last tip is to cook from home. Cooking from home can be cheaper and more healthy. Cooking food from scratch can ensure that you're not getting any cross-contamination or any foods that you're not supposed to have in your diet. This way you know exactly what is in your food, how it was prepared, and you know that there was no cross-contamination. Pre-made food can be more costly, and I have found that cooking from scratch makes food taste better anyway, at least to me personally. And I know that a lot of people don't have the option to cook from home, that's okay, continue to buy the pre-made food, whatever is easiest for you. Like I said before, I'm just telling you what's easier, cheaper, and more convenient for me. While I make most of my foods that I eat from home and from scratch, I have not been able to make tofu. Every time I try to make tofu, it just comes out in a clump or silken tofu instead of firm tofu. 
So if anyone has a good recipe for tofu, go ahead and put that in the comments for me to see. There's just some things that some people just cannot make from home and tofu is that one thing for me. That's it for this video, folks. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you all so much. Please hit that thumbs up button and remember to subscribe to my channel. I will also link my website below along with my Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest account. Thank you for watching again and until next time.